Hey there, and welcome to Bug Eye Travel. Today, I'm going to show you the top 10 reasons to visit Cuba. If you're an American, you may think it's impossible to plan a trip to Cuba, but that's not true. Cuba is a one-of-a-kind destination. From charm, personality, and dancing colors, to rum, revolutionaries, and rich traditions, it's all here. So let's get started. Number 10. Untouched Culture Due to decades of political isolation, Cuba has remained largely undiscovered. The island is still untainted by chain corporations, while its colonial cities and white sand beaches are yet to be overrun by tourists. It all adds to Cuba's charm, with locals genuinely happy to see the tourists that do reach this colorful isle. So if you're looking for an authentic travel experience, this is your best destination. Traveling to Cuba feels like stepping back in time. The cars on the road are American automobiles from the 1950s. People talk to each other instead of constantly staring at their cell phone screens. You'll meander down cobblestone streets with dilapidated facades, listening to someone singing or strumming a guitar, or maybe playing a raucous song on their drums. You'll pass colorful, overflowing fruit carts and pop-up barbers who set up shop in the streets. It's a world away from the hustle and bustle of the United States. Taxi drivers will play Roomba music so loudly that passersby will start dancing. People will serenade you on a violin or guitar in the street, and African drums will greet you when you stop for a drink. Take in a few concerts and watch the dancing. You could even learn a few steps. Every evening at 10 o'clock, La Zora y El Cuervo host jazz concerts for a packed house. Casa de la Musica is where you'll see the best Cuban salsa bands on your trip. Number 9. Rum When you hear Cuba, one of the first things that comes to your mind will be rum, and for good reason. Of course, you've probably seen bottles of Havana Club behind the bar in any pub or club, but when served by the hand of a Cuban, the result is quite different. You've not truly savored a mojito until you've sipped one in a tiny bar in Cuba, listening to salsa and watching the world go by. This cocktail, along with the daiquiri and the Cuba Libre, originate right here. You can find an expertly made version on nearly any corner. The Cubans are so proud of their rum heritage, in fact, that they offer rum tours. Stop in the Havana Club Museum, the original Bacardi Rum Factory in Santiago de Cuba, or the Manaca Isnaga Estate. Any trip to Cuba would only be complete with sampling some of the oak-aged rums they offer. Number 8. Old Havana Suppose you're looking for an adventure-filled vacation in Cuba. In that case, you'll love the charms of exploring Havana in a classic car and perhaps learning the secrets to making a perfect mojito from local barkeeps. Cuba's character will astonish you. Literature, music, politics, and its rich traditions, folklore, and legends make almost any street corner in the city famous. Visit the world-famous landmark, the Museum of the Revolution. Hang out with the locals on the Malicón, the seafront road near the city center. Enjoy an evening soaking up the vibrant nightlife in hot tavernas, sipping cocktails in one of Hemingway's old haunts, or live it up at one of the singing, dancing, spectacular salsa shows at the legendary Tropicana Club. Number 7. The History, Culture, and Cuisine History has carved the country into what it is today. It is more than just the shiny vintage cars and colorful houses. Cuba's history is still evolving. From its location on the Caribbean island chain to its tumultuous relationship with Spain and America, Cuba's fascinating history is worth exploring. Cuban culture is a mix of Spanish, African, and indigenous traditions. The history and traditional culture are vividly preserved through the arts, some of the most dazzling in the world. Dance with locals to popular genres, including mambo, chachi, rumba, and cha-cha-cha. Cuban gastronomy is infused with flavor and precision, providing delicious fare that revitalizes your taste buds, no matter your dietary preferences. The food is delicious, and you won't be short on opportunities to dance to Latin beats with dinner and a show. Number 6. Coffee In the mid-1700s, coffee first arrived on the shores of Cuba and quickly became one of the things people associate most with the country. Coffee production completely changed the Cuban landscape, landing its first coffee plantations on the UNESCO World Heritage List. It's an integral part of local culture and a social event. 
Cubans often enjoy a cup of the dark sweet stuff while they drop by for a visita, chit chat time with friends and family. This social aspect of drinking coffee is something most countries lose with a grab and go attitude. However, Cubans always take the time to taste the coffee. One of the most common ways to serve this delicious drink is incolado, a typical Cuban espresso served in a large cup and accompanied by smaller cups so you may share it with friends. You won't be able to resist the smell of freshly ground coffee beans floating down the street. Leave a little space in your suitcase so you can take some home. Are you enjoying the video so far? Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Number five, beautiful beaches and landscapes. There is a plethora of natural places that are excellent for hiking and camping, especially near mountain regions. Caribbean beaches are renowned for their crystal clear waters and fine sand. From Viñales in the western part of the country to Guadalavaca Beach in eastern Cuba, you'll have a wide variety of areas and landscapes to choose from. The island has about 300 beaches with magnificent scenery. Among the best are Los Flamencos on the island of Cayo Coco, Pilar in Cayo Guillermo, and Ancon on the south coast of Cuba. The clear azure sea, gentle waves, bright sun, and fresh sea breezes are refreshing. Coral reefs protect many beaches from large waves. Jellyfish, octopuses, turtles, tiger sharks, skeletons of Spanish galleons, even a fallen plane. All of this and still more can be found in the clear waters of the Caribbean Sea. You can swim with dolphins in Varadero, Bacanao, Playa Luna, and Guadalavaca. It is an unforgettable experience. The immaculately clear waters of Key Largo and Key Coco are ideal for swimming, diving, and snorkeling. Number four, Colonial Trinidad. A colorful colonial city lost in time, as well as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Trinidad dates back to 1514. In the 17th and 18th centuries, the town served as a critical location in the slave trade and a center for producing sugar. Here you can listen to live music in the town square, climb the bell tower for the city's best panoramic views, and visit museums to learn the town's history and beyond. The area is highly diverse, with sandy beaches to the south, green valleys with old sugar plantations to the east, and mountains and waterfalls to the north. Today, its cobbled streets are decked with colonial-era homes painted in gorgeous pastels. It is also a great place to go horseback riding on a day trip and to visit the nearby Playa Ancon Beach. Trinidad is busy, but beautiful and worth a visit. Number 3. Cuban Cigars Meeting a Cuban tobacco farmer and then hearing about the process of turning that into a cigar is fascinating. Try that natural tobacco grown in the heart of tobacco culture. It doesn't need chemicals to process it because most are cured with honey, rum, and water. Get some for your friends straight from the farmers, if nothing else. You won't get any more authentic than that. Number two, retro cars. Cuba is a paradise for vintage car lovers. You will see anything from Buicks and Mercedes to Soviet era Volgas and Zil. Most cars are maintained by self-made mechanics. Parts are usually purchased from people who bring them back into the country. You will hardly find another country with so many old American cars in use, roaming the streets like it's 1959. A retro cabriolet here is a typical taxi. Take pictures and don't hesitate to talk with the drivers to hear all about the tricks they've developed to keep these cars rolling without access to the original spare parts. And the number one reason to travel to Cuba is, it's unlike any other country. It's difficult to explain because what Cuba offers is more of a feel. Sure, it brings the time capsule experience. In many ways, you'll be stepping back in time. There's a slower pace of life here than what we're used to in the Western world. And this is good. 
You'll uncover some remarkable history and meet beautiful people. But most of all, Cuba makes you question, what is truly important in life? What is it that brings you joy? It's an atmosphere you simply have to experience for yourself. If you're looking for a destination to unplug and detach, Cuba is the perfect place. While it's not true that there is no internet in Cuba, it is spotty and challenging to hook up to at times. This might give you many panic attacks, but it's actually one of the best reasons to visit. We've all talked about going on a digital detox occasionally. Why not leave the roaming charges and slow download speeds for later, and use the opportunity to see what life was like before the internet? But regardless, there's everything you could possibly need to have a great holiday in Cuba. Warm tropical climate, azure sea, golden sandy beaches, clear open sky, and tall evergreen palm trees. Let's not forget the friendly people and retro vibe. Having been there once, you will remember your vacation to Cuba for the rest of your life. Have you thought about going? Maybe you already have. Leave some comments below. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more travel videos of fantastic destinations worldwide. Be sure to check out my Caribbean Gems playlist for even more inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.